Bro, I cannot believe we're in New Haven right now and literally the only reason we're in New Haven is because of you. That's the only reason we're in New Haven, Connecticut, the pizza capital of the world. Right behind me is Sally's Pizza. Across somewhere around here is Frank Pepe's, bro. And I'm a Floridian. This shit's crazy. I never thought I would ever be in New Haven, Connecticut. I never thought I would ever see myself here. And honestly, this city feels a lot better than Boston, let me tell you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But hey, Connecticut feels really great. The roads are better. The people are nicer. Like, there's less of them, which is cool. Like, Connecticut's dull, bro. There's less stress. There's less stress. And Julie and I were talking about it. Like, yo, if we were to ever move, like, instead of New York, Connecticut, Loki, Loki's kind of a little bit better for us. Specifically, UConn, UConn is a really great school. UConn? Yeah. Oh. University of Connecticut. University of Connecticut. I never heard about UConn. Yeah. I haven't heard much about it. There but yeah, guys, really stay tuned for the New Haven content. Love y'all. Three, two. Thank you, brother. Take it easy. Sally's, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, today's episode is the biggest episode we've ever had, bro. I'm getting loud because I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a damn, bro. Today we're at Sally's, a pizza. Bro, I've never seen a pizza that looks like this, bro. Coming from Florida. Oh my God, bro. Like, I just want to dig in already, bro. Like, as you guys probably already know, this is Dave Portnoy's top three uh, pizza restaurants of all time. I believe he gave it a 9-1. Um, but I'm not sure. I think he gave it a 9-1 though. And this, as you guys heard, like the story of the place and everything, um, very, very cool. That was the first time I ever really talked to one of the owners. And this was like, we traveled all the way to New Haven to try this pizza, bro. Like this pizza, like it's gonna, I already know it's gonna be good. Like I'm not trying to dick ride or nothing, but I, I already know it's gonna be good. But let's go into it. Little greasy, little greasy, but hey, let me show you guys the pizza before I start eating though. Give you guys a good look. But yeah, I wish it was a little bit more like uniform, but hey. Nevertheless, let's try it. Mm. Whoa, whoa. Look at the, um, look at the char on the bottom, by the way. And yeah, really greasy, but really well made. Really well made. Mm. I like the burn on it. I like the, I just like the sauce. The pepperonis are the best pepperonis I've ever had in my life. Um, really, really good. But for me specifically, it doesn't get in the nines just because like the cheese is not as dominant yet. And like the, the grease is like very prominent. Um, so maybe if it was a little less greasy, a little bit more cheesier, it would get in the nines. But for what it is, this might be, I believe the number one pizza on my list. I'm gonna, I was gonna give it I was gonna give it an 8.8, .8, but I'm gonna be generous. I'm gonna give it an 8.9. Don't think it hits the 9.1s just quite as yet, but it's 8.9 in my books. Really, really solid score. Um, and honestly, it's something to tell mom about. Like, if you're if you're ever in New Haven, you're you're gonna wanna try uh, this pizza. It's really, really good. And then you guys got um, we got Frank Pepe. We got a bunch of different spots. What? Did you give me my pepperoni the, No. Oh, really? I, this is my own pepperoni. You didn't get your pep? You didn't get your pep? No. Oh no, this one got my name on it. So nah. Oh shit, now you good, you good? But yeah guys, as I was saying, New, New Haven, pizza capital of the world, we're here. Um, this is the only pizza we're gonna be trying in New Haven, unfortunately, because it's just a quick little stop. But yeah guys, Sally's, one quick look before I go, and all its glory. It's the, probably the last time I'll be here in a long time, so soaking in. Next year we got a New York trip, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do New Haven, and we're gonna do Frank Pepe's, and a bunch of different other places too, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys, we're trying to meet Dave Cornoy, tag him in the comments down below, we love you, I'm out. Um, you got anything to say to Ray, people? How was it? And, oh, it was amazing. I gave it an 8.9. I gave it an 8.9. It, it was a little, just a little bit extra grease. But besides the grease, 8.9. Really good. Pepperoni, best pepperoni I ever had in my life. The char on it, absolutely amazing. Like Dave was saying, fire as fuck. The crust, best crust I ever had in my life too. Really, really good. Uh, the highest I ever gave a pizza, I believe was 8.6 at a, a local joint in Florida. So, hey, this is number one. This is number one on my list out of like 20. So. You guys should be proud of that. All yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. 8.9 for me though. Really, good. really good. You wanted the nine though. It's okay. You wanted the nine. Wanted Everybody the nine. has their own preference. I know you wanted the nine, man. You know? I know you wanted the nine. Everybody has their own preference. It was good though. It was really I'm fun. I'm glad you enjoyed Coming it. Coming from a Floridian, you changed my life. You changed oh. my life though. 
Hope like, you guys will be back. No, we will. We will. We're gonna take a. We're, we will. We love Connecticut so much. We've never been to Connecticut before, and we were just talking to the audience. Uh, we want to do a Connecticut trip next year, so we're thinking yeah. about it. Yeah, and just do New Haven, do a bunch of the pizzas, do Airbnb or something like that. It'd be fun. Yeah. All right. But we appreciate you, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Seriously. We're here with the owners of uh, Sally's, uh, one of the managers and one of the owners. And uh, and yeah, we just want to know a little bit about the history of the place and everything, how it got started, and um, really just give us your take on it and, and how this business really came to be. Because I, I actually don't know too, too much about Sally's, actually. Okay. Uh, my grandmother bought this used to be a bread bakery. This Apple used to be cell. a bread bakery, okay. My grandma, the guy got sick, he put it on the market. My grandmother bought it. And my, who was Frank Pepe's sister, okay. my grandmother. So my father, who worked for Frank Pepe, when nine years old, um, ended up going down to, uh, rather, uh, Frank Frank Pepe, and my father and, and his brother Tony worked together for Frank. Okay. Frank got into it with my uncle Tony. And said, Tony, get out of here. My father says, you threw my brother out, I'm leaving too. Oh, okay, so this is the rivalry. Okay, so, so now I'm remembering the episode, Dave's episode, when he yeah. did it. I'm remembering the little rivalry. Yeah, so now now yeah. that, you know, this came over to bake it, my grandma bought the business to my father and, and she Salvatore Tim Sally's, okay? Yes, sir. That was in 38. And then, um, after that, he ran it, built the icon that it is today. Yeah, it is. And, you know, he, what he learned from Frank Pepe, he bought here, but then perfected it. And that's why you, if you eat here, you get the best pizza you can. That's what I figured. Let me tell you something that may surprise you. Uh, I'm from New York, but I've, I haven't really tried too much of New York pizza. And I started my pizza reviews in Florida. Probably one of the worst places to try pizzas, right? So I'm mm -hmm. trying a bunch of mid and like low tier pizzas down there. So I'm like, I'm, I'm doing a little New York trip. So, you know, we drove here and stuff and I'm like, hey babe, let's go to New Haven really quick on the way back to Florida and let's check it out. That's the pizza capital of the world. You know what I'm saying? And then I was like, should we go to Sally's or should we go to Frank Pepe? Pick the off. Pick the <laughs> off right, for a reason. You, 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 you look like a right choice. Yeah, yeah, definitely the right choice. Yeah. yeah. You have you tried the pizza? I yet? haven't. Okay. I haven't. You're, I don't know. You're, you're in for a real yeah. treat. I kinda know what to expect. I know it's gonna be bomb. You know, you're gonna judge everything else by the pizza from here. Oh okay. yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. Honestly, that was great. That's really yeah. um, but, well, I don't need to go in the kitchen or anything like that. That that, that, that I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Let, let me say also, Raymond is overseeing the operation right now because I'm semi retired. Yeah. And he's like family. He's, you know, like I said, my brother from super another cool, mother. Super cool. mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. you know, he can pick it up here. He can tell you more. Yeah. He seems like a hard worker. You seem in like a hard worker. In 1925, Pepe invented it. In 1938, Dang. Sally perfected it. Yeah. Mm. Right? Yeah. In so 1938, Sally perfected it. That's in right. 25, Pepe invented Pepe it. Pepe invented it. Okay. okay. I will so, remember that. Remember that. Remember that. Word for word. Yes, sir. <laughs> we didn't pack properly because it was a very last minute trip. And so we should stop real quick and we got these two jackets. So. Yeah. 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 So, What'd you think about it? Um, I really like it. This is so good. It hit the nines it, for you, I feel like. I yeah, yeah, yeah. It do? Yeah, I would give it a nine point nine point two. Hey. Yeah. Eight point nine, nine point two from her. Hey. Great yeah. scores. Great well, thank scores. you guys. Thank okay. you guys. Bro, so right now I'm chilling eating Sally's at a church, bro. At a cathedral, brother. Eating pizza at the cathedral, gang. Chile, chile.